Welcome to Primus E-Guide for Tomb Raider 4, The Last Revelation. One of the unique aspects of the Tomb Raider series are the puzzles that need to be solved. In The Last Revelation, most of the puzzles are fairly straightforward and logical. But about a third of the way through the adventure, you'll find a large room in the tomb of Semerket, revealing a giant board game. As Laura enters, swing, and the game is on. This is an Egyptian game called Senate. It's a little like backgammon, just not as portable. Spinning the sticks on the north wall determines how many spaces a piece can go on the board. The objective is to move your pieces down the runway until they are cleared. If you win the game, you get to take the short route toward the end of the level. Otherwise, you have to take the long way home. Behind the spinner are three colored squares which are used to move the three colored pieces. After Laura spins, she can move to step on any of the three and the corresponding piece will move. Given the angle Laura is viewing the game from, it's hard to see what's moving where and why. Here's how the pieces actually move if they were unopposed. We'll start with the red piece, which moves forward and to the right. When it reaches the end of that row, it turns left at the ANK symbol. From there, it's a beeline to oblivion as it vanishes on the last square. The remaining green and blue pieces will follow the same path. You can move either one, but they cannot land on the same square. If you cannot move, you lose that turn. Simple, right? Well, not so simple. You see those other pieces across the way? They belong to your opponent. Old Daddy Longnose over there is going to do all he can to slow you down or defeat you by landing on your pieces. Detailed strategy for winning at Senate is available in the window below. This interactive tutorial will train you to win Senate four out of every five times you play. It is, after all, a game of chance. The last thing we need to cover is the spinning device. Vanna, I need a vowel. The concept is fairly simple. Spin the sticks, count how many white sides you see, and choose the game piece you want to move forward. Here we see Laura spin and end up with two white sticks. Laura moves her piece two spaces toward home. Spinning one, three, or four are also the same. Laura watches as her mystical opponent spins a one. He moves one space to send Laura's green piece back to start. Two can play that game. Laura also spins a 2 and sends her opponent's piece back to start. There is one exception to these rules as you spin the stick. Whenever the spin ends in four black sticks, the player can move six spaces and take an extra turn. Use the tutorial below and enjoy the game.